Okay, this is going to be interval of convergence, um, video number two. I'm just going to do a few more interval of convergence questions. Um, remember, I start out with my ratio test. The limit is n goes to infinity of x minus 4 to the n plus 1 over the cube root of 3 of n plus 1 times the cube root of n over x minus 4 to the n. Um, I'm going to write this out. So it be the limit as n goes to infinity of x minus 4 to the n times x minus 4 to the 1 times the cube root of n over cube root of n plus 1 times x minus 4 to the n. x minus 4 to the n's cancel. Remember that the limit only deals with the n, so I can pull my x term out. So it would be the absolute value of x minus 4 times the limit as n goes to infinity of the cube root of n over the cube root of n plus 1. Um, limit to infinity, look at the degrees. The degrees are the same. So the degrees are the same, it's just going to be the coefficients, which is 1. So it's just the absolute value of x minus 4. I'm going to force that to be less than 1. Um, and I'm going to solve my absolute value inequality. So x minus 4 is less than 1. And x minus 4 is greater than negative 1. So add 5, add 5, 4. I don't know why I was getting ahead of myself. It's 5. Add 4, add 4. x is greater than 3. So it's going to be from 3 to 5. So I need to find out, I need to test my point. So I come back up here, um, put a line. I'm going to have to take that to a new page anyway. It's not going to matter. Um, at x equals 3, is it 3 and 5? Yeah. At x equals 3, I've got the series 3 minus 4 to the n over the cube root of n. Um, that's negative 1 to the n over the cube root of n. That's an alternating series. Limit goes to 0. It's going to converge. At x equals 5. Is it 5? Yeah. Um, you know, I have 5 minus 4, which is 1 to the n over the cube root of n. So that's a p-test. Um, p is less than 1. So therefore, it diverges. So that means that it's equal at 3 and not equal at 5. So it's equal at 3, not equal at 5. So my answer is from 3 to 5. And it, again, if it asks me about my radius, 3, 4, 5, the radius is from the center to the outside either way. So it's 1. So my radius of convergence is 1. Um, let's do this last one. Let me take it to a new page. Um, this one has a factorial in it. Those are always fun. The, just do the ratio test again. The limit is n goes to infinity of 5 to the n plus 1 times x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. And I'm dividing by this. I'm actually multiplying by the reciprocal. n factorial over 5 to the n times x to the n. So that's the limit is n goes to infinity of 5 to the n times 5 to the 1 times x to the n times x to the 1 times n factorial over n plus 1 times n factorial times 5 to the n times x to the n. Whew, that's a lot of writing. Um, so 5 to the n's are gone, x to the n's are gone, n factorials are gone. So all that I'm left with here is again I can pull my x out, the absolute value of x times the limit is n goes to infinity of 5 over n plus 1. Well, the limit of that, the degree of the bottom is bigger than the top, that goes to 0. So I've got 0 times the absolute value of x, which is 0. Well, I force that less than 1 and I say, when is this true? This is always true. So if it's always true, then I could either say it's all real numbers, or you'll see it written negative infinity to infinity. That's the other way to write all real numbers. Um, because 0 is always less than 1, so it's always true. And say you had ended up with an answer that was 2 with no x. 2 would never be less than 1, so it would be never true. So it would only converge at whatever point um, it's referring to. All right. That, that's it for interval of convergence.